What is going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. So for those of you who don't know, actually this past weekend has been DEF CON, and I've been seeing all my friends down there hanging out, seeing pictures from people like um, Uber, Amelia, Rocket God, Jacoby, Bill Nye, everybody's down there having a great time. So I was kind of feeling a little bummed out, like I was missing out, but then I got a package in the mail from my buddy AWOK. Now, I've mentioned AWOK a ton of times in the past. They've even worn this shirt on a number of videos. I've known him since way back in the day, since the first time we talked to each other about basically hooking up ESP32s and getting RX and TX messed up. Now, AWOK said that he had been working on a project for a while, and it was actually inspired by something I had already built. So he was really curious what I thought about it. But he also said that he didn't have them out for production quite yet, so I wasn't supposed to talk about it. But I mean, come on, I'm the talking Sasquatch. That's literally really all I do. So after some poking and prodding and convincing, I finally got him to let me actually make this into a video, and I'm so psyched he said yes. So let's get right into it and take a look at these things. You will not be disappointed. Alright, so I'm sure you guys have seen my boards before, but for the sake of this video, let's take a look at the Yeti Board Mark III. This guy right here. So I worked with I Am Orion on this one to make it. It's got a 2.8 inch TFT screen, and then we've got in the back dual ESP32 Wemos D1s. Now, this board was never made publicly available for a few reasons, one of which is logistics is just a nightmare to deal with, but second of which is it actually really hard to build. So the way it was designed, I wanted everything as flat as possible, so I actually ripped off the SD card from the screen and then made uh, its own SD card right there, which you can barely see, but that's actually so flat underneath there, I had to surface mount that card. It was really hard to do. I sent both Amelia and Zebro kits to build them themselves and they both ran into issues because if you don't follow the exact right order of operations, you're going to have to take everything apart. You really need to think about how it all works. You have to cut all the pins down. It's honestly just a nightmare to build this thing. So it was at that time that I decided to just leave all of the PCB design work to people who really love doing that. People like AWOK. Now, speaking of people who really know what they're doing when it comes to PCBs, that brings us to today's sponsor. PCBWay. PCBWay provides so many services that allow you to create the coolest things you possibly can. They can print and populate PCBs for you. They can 3D print. They can CNC. They can do sheet metal fabrication. The amount of stuff these guys can do is absolutely crazy. They even have an entire section of shared projects, which are pretty much projects that people have created already that you can just have PCBWay help you make. So whatever gets your creative juices flowing, PCB Way has got a product or a service that's perfect for you. Thank you so much for PCB Way for your support, and let's get back at it. So AWOK took the idea of a dual ESP board and really just ran with it. Now, I would love to say that this is exactly how I envisioned this project going, but it's so much better than anything I could have ever dreamed up. So let's switch to the top-down camera and take a look at these things. All right, so check out all this really cool stuff. Everything that AWOK makes is absolutely gorgeous, including all of the cases. So let's start off with this guy right here. This is just the NRF24, and this is the V3. Here we go. What's really cool about this is how he prints these. So it's got a little, little holder down here, and just look at how nice that print is. He's got the texture on the inside there, so it's got a really cool pattern. Like, these things are just really cool. And again, this is just an NRF24, but this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Pop this back in for now. So moving on from there, we have this cool little guy. This is AWOK Sub Gigahertz board. Now, I printed this case myself out of some Color Shift PLA. It looked kind of cool, but you can see there's some weird layering and stuff like that. That has nothing to do with the print or anything. I printed this myself. But what this is is actually a 433 megahertz CC1101. So my screws don't actually fit, so I can still take it apart. Boom. And we can take it out carefully. Care carefully. Watch me break it. Oh, no. Probably should have pulled the screws out, but it's not really how we do things around here. Ugh. The cringe. You literally can't buy these. I'm about to break it on stream. Eh. Is it ever going to come out? Do we live here now? Ah, finally got them out. Boom. So yeah, if we take a really close look at this, this is the CC1101. This is uh, the version 1.1. It's got clearly labeled antennas, very smart. And what's also cool about this, if you get really close, 
It's got a TX and an RX switch. So you can actually switch between transmitting and receiving and which one is going to have a cleaner signal. So that's a really cool addition to this guy. So yeah, what a nicely designed board. I love everything that AWOC does. Let's see if I can pop this back in the case without breaking everything. And it goes like this. Okay, that was a lot easier. So there, whoops, sorry not to drop everything. Clip that back together and you can live here now. Oops, this way, that way, there we go. So now let's move on to this big boy right here. This magnificent thing is the dual ESP32. Take the cover off the bottom and this thing is absolutely amazing. You can see me in the reflection here. Yeah, we've actually, he's got the cutouts for the buttons too, so you can actually press all the buttons. We have, both of these can be powered by USB-C separately, and he's got them color-coded. You can see the top one's red. Pop over the other side here, and you can barely see it, but that's where the SD card goes. Just gotta pull the antenna off to get in there, but super cool design. This thing is so cool. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Eh, careful, there we go. And then this does need five, uh, five volt for GPIO enabled. So it's gonna go down here to five volt on, and then bam, fires up right now. Boom, and now we have a full size working Marauder. So freaking cool. And actually while we're in here, let's check this out. I know I've gone over Marauder a bunch of times, but now in Marauder, if we go to Wi-Fi, go to attacks, we can run Evil Portal, hell yeah. So now we're running Evil Portal and super cool uh just right from the uh the marauder actual app for the standalone super cool press the screen to close that i love this it's literally the coolest thing ever also i do owe willie a shout out for this beta version of xfw if you look at my screen it's actually doing a wave kind of changing the color of the led as it's going which is really cool i can also do if i go down here into miscellaneous go to screen I can change it from wave to just a color change like this which is pretty cool as well uh, yeah great project there I like to leave it as waves because I think that looks pretty darn cool myself and go back to the main screen but yeah super super cool so let's move on to what AWOC said was his favorite board it's gonna be the ESP32 of the dual but it's the mini so let's pop this guy off and let's take a look at that move this guy out of the way unplug you and then plug this guy in whoops oh yeah so this will turn 5 volt off basically anytime you like close an app or unplug a board I'm pretty sure that uh, unleashed is working on that for a fix but we'll go back into our GPIO change 5 volt back on hello there we go and here we go we got a little mini marauder that's adorable now what's really cool about this is that I don't have an SD card in here, that's no problem. But, there we go. Just like the Mini Marauder, it's got a four-way navigational switch, kind of like a digital joystick, and you can press down on it. That's how you navigate with everything, but it's really cool. It's so well designed. You can see it's just a little floating button on there. Again, you've got, uh, careful, uh, USB port right there. USB port right, uh, right there. And then SD card right up on top, super well designed. I mean, AWOC literally hit it out of the park with these things. So it wouldn't be my channel unless I took something apart. I didn't ask if I could do this, but hopefully it's not a problem. So let's start taking this big boy apart and see what it's got going on. So let me grab my handy dandy Linus Tech Tips screwdriver, lttstore.com, and we'll get to taking it apart. It's really hard because like I have no room. The camera's right there. Ooh, it's lttstore.com, fancy. But let's start taking this thing apart. Oop, go either way. And with any luck, I can take this apart without the SD card getting removed. Oh yeah, splits right there, no problem. We free? Yep, other side came off. Case one. Oh, there we go. Wow, this thing is cool. Awok, you absolute mad lad. You have outdone yourself on this one. That is like the coolest thing. So you can see all our buttons. We've got our antennas hooked up to the ESP32s. These are rooms up there. Editing Sasquatch here. Quick note, I was actually wrong right there. It is an ESP32 room on top 
which runs the standalone Marauder, and it's an ESP32 Rover on the bottom, the same one that the actual official flipper board uses. That makes it so you can do the uh, the serial SD saves. So you can save all your PCAPs directly to the SD card on the flipper when using the flipper Marauder version. And the integrated SD card. Wow, this thing is so freaking cool. Now, one of the other things you'll notice is that he's got gold on all of this. He specifically made these with the, the gold silk screening on them just because he can, just because they're so cool. But man, this is this is awesome. Now, actually, I wasn't planning on opening the mini, but now I have to. I've got to see what that one looks like because this thing is sick. So let me see if I can get this back in the case without breaking anything. I guess we'll go like that. Clippy clippy. That seems right. All right, sorry, buddy. I didn't plan on hurting you, but this is for science, and we need to do this now. So let's take this guy apart. All right, time for screw driving. Do do do. You can see even more button cutouts on here in the back. Definitely helps because yeah, with the ESP32 flasher that Coco Code made, it is useful to have those buttons a lot of times. So that's really cool. All right, the moment of truth. Pop this cover off. Yep, we off. Did I get him? Whoa, got him. Oh man, this one's cool too. All right, and as you can see, there's a lot of similarities to the other boards. I mean, obviously, because it's got all the same stuff for the most part on here. Interesting, this still has a antenna, an onboard antenna there. Huh, interesting. So yeah, this is the exact same thing as before. I talked to AWOK about it. So apparently the ESP32 rovers that he was able to get for this board uh, were really only available with the onboard antenna. He's not using it, but that's the reason why they look different. SD card right there. We got the dual USB-C for both of them, which is really nice, honestly. He's got them color coded again. Again, it's really hard to see, but that one's red, which is nice. And we've got the buttons, just you know, all the same kind of stuff. Oh, there we go. There's our silk screening that we expect to see. We've got the four-way rocker, or whatever they call these things, with a button pressed down. But, like, look at how freaking cool this thing is. Awok is just... He's got a certain flash, a certain style. I mean, it's cool watching all these different creators making boards and stuff, because, like, between, you know, Awok and Rabbit Labs, they have totally different style, but they still make really really cool stuff all right so let me quickly pop this all back together and uh we can kind of recap what's going on okay so kind of doing this backwards but it seems to work better line you up come on there we go pop and go here come on there we go and screw time that's what she said <laughs> Now these are just kind of screwed into the PLA, so you have to be a little bit nice to them, but honestly, I never run into issues with these. I know uh, Just Call Me Coco, he puts like the little heat set uh, inserts into them, which are nice, but you really probably aren't gonna be taking these on and off a million times, so unless you like tighten things down with the strength of like ham fistery, you're not gonna ruin these things, so. Again, just be careful and you won't have any issues. It's the same thing with taking a flipper apart. A lot of people strip out the screws, but I swear it, half the time either they just have a screwdriver that doesn't fit right, or they're just tightening stuff down way too much. But cool, we're back and we work again. Also, let me move this out of the way. AWOK's got some really cool pins. So if you're in his store and you're paying for shipping already, grab some pins, they're super cool. Actually, pins, stickers, t-shirts, everything. I actually completely forgot that he threw in some of the stickers as well. So you've got these guys, whoop, upside down, but like really cool art. Awok, one of his passions is definitely art and music and stuff, and it really shows in what he makes. So yeah, that is the dual ESP32 from Awok. Absolutely amazing. That thing, oh my God, there's no way you can see this. It's way too bright over here. But you saw it before. This thing is, honestly, as soon as I opened this up and realized what it was, I was like, this is my favorite thing of all time. Now, obviously I've got a huge soft spot for this project because I made a dual ESP board and I know what's involved in making it work, but my God, like what AWOKs come up with here is so far above and beyond anything I thought I'd see before. So again, favorite thing of all time. So go check out AWOK Dynamics and definitely join his Discord. I'm not sure when these boards are gonna drop, but I can guarantee you they will sell out immediately. Also, check out all his other merch. He makes really cool stuff. All of his boards are literally like the most nicest, most nicest. <laughs> he literally makes some of the nicest stuff out there. His quality, 
He's got just a certain style and I really, really love it. Thanks again, AWOK, for letting me preview these boards and letting me make this video because, again, I, as soon as I saw these things, I'm like, I need to cover this as soon as possible. So, thanks again. And thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right, we'll catch you next time.